Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1 was amazing. And we can't wait for Season 2. Not only because of the Shibuya arc, but because it has the crispiest arc. That's right. Some may say the most scrumptious one yet. The Gojo Past arc. Now where do we begin? Gojo's Past arc. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's Gojo's Past, where we see young Gojo. And oddly enough, he's even more childish than current Gojo. I don't even know how that's possible. <laughs> you explain that to me. I mean, he looks the same. But I, I like, guess exactly like same haircut, same everything, and he's wearing glasses too. But, but he, he's a bit childish, and he's a bit like I wouldn't say nerd, yeah. but it's before he became overpowered, and it showed how he's unlocked his hollow purple and, and everything. Yeah, it, he hasn't mastered all of his abilities yet. He's specifically trying to master like the reversal technique, which is cool to see like how like even Gojo at one point wasn't Gojo yet. Which is like, which makes Gojo in this arc protagonist material. Right. And, most importantly, it, allow, it allows for better fights. So, it's Gojo's past, so you're, you're bound to see at least other young characters. Notably, Nanami and Ghetto. You get to see oh, the- man, don't even get me started on Nanami! <laughs> Ren is an emo! Bro! An e oh. My. God! They're playing my chemical romance! Nicole, you know I'm scared of emos! Bro, what happened, Nanami? What happened? Man went from being an emo who hated his life to, a, like, a Japanese businessman who still hated his life. Now, that is what I call character development. But, but notably, more than Nanami is young Ghetto. And we see this kind of, like, Kakashi Obito relationship. Yeah. Oh, wow, another comparison to Naruto. How oh, surprising. wow. Where they were like, uh, they were best friends in their childhood and young past. However, it kind of fell apart as time went on. Yeah, so you see that type of dynamic between young Ghetto and young Gojo. And like, uh, side note, yeah, this isn't the same for you anime-only watchers. What do you- First of all, why are you watching this video? Go read the manga. Second of all, this isn't the same Ghetto. That's a whole nother story. This right. is like, Ghetto, actual Ghetto. And you see their like their friendship is like extremely strong. Like they say that we're the strongest, you know? Which like it, it was just so like just what was the word? Like just amazing to see that. Like ah. Oh, you know what's also Gojo pretty cool? You get to see Ghetto's descent into madness and like mm -hmm. how his ideology slowly like formed into his current one. Right. And that happened in part because Gojo became the strongest. It was really cool to see like the negative character development that Ghetto had, where at the start of the arc, he, he was like, you know, a protector. He was a jujitsu sorcerer. He said, I hate people, specifically sorcerers, who don't protect other people. And he was like a nice guy, you know? And then, naturally, by the end of it, he murdered an entire village of innocent people. So, you know. <laughs> Very interesting character development. And now for the main event. The main event. Gojo yeah. really doesn't steal the spotlight in this arc. The person that steals the spotlight is Toji Fushiguro. Daddy. Yo, what the f <laughs> Okay, cut, the way cut, you cut, said cut. that. Wait, what? Okay. But I'm calling it right now, AK. I'm calling it right now. I know, you know, the audience knows. Once this man gets animated, he's gonna have more simps than Gojo. L which literally, is saying so Literally, much. like, Toji is like the definition of a dilf. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Deadbeat dad who gambles a lot and kills sorcerers. Yeah. Despite having no powers. Hey yo, who's Megumi? <laughs> like for real, someone asked him, how's Megumi? <laughs> and he said, who's oh, yeah, Megumi? He, he forgot that he had a son. <laughs> now, what's so interesting about Toji is the fact that he's like Maki but fully realized. Like he, he can't use sorcery. He's but huge. his physical abilities are like twice of Maki. He's peak human. He's like a the peak human. Which makes sense why people simp for him, because he's peak human. And if you combine that with weapons that cancel out sorcery techniques, well, then you get the sorcerer killer. Man, I mean, a lot of people got bodied in this arc. But you know who did? Oh, yeah. Who dropped all them bodies? Toji dropped Gojo, and Toji dropped Ghetto? Like, he didn't even have to fight that much at the first time. And he dropped everyone else. And he would have even killed Gojo if he hadn't figured out the reversal technique he was having trouble with. And because he figured out the reversal technique, we got to see the first hollow purple 
that yes, Gojo this, ever pulled off. The fights, man. The fights in this arc is amazing. Specifically, Gojo versus Toji Part 2. Oh, yeah. Man, Gojo, like, he pulled up to the fight with, like, this insane battle high that you see Jujutsu characters pulling off. And he said, long time no see. And then this man, this man started floating. I will, audience, AK, I will not say this again. I want you to remember this. Yeah. This arc is my favorite one. I know, it's so good though, yes. It is my favorite one. And this man also started quoting Buddha while like flying in the oh, yeah. air. <laughs> he quoted Buddha, he, he went up and he started floating and in the sky he, he said, in all the heaven and earth, I alone am the honored one. Bro. If that, doesn't say Gojo, like, I don't know what is. <laughs> he finally masters the reversal technique and learns Hollow Purple, defeating Toji. Now, okay. And rips that man's arm off. Y yeah, he rips it this man. <laughs> but actually, we find out Toji might be a good father, but not really, question mark. We're gonna leave that up to you guys. Go read the manga right now. <laughs> okay. So yeah, then, yeah. The, the arc ends by Ghetto going insane and killing a whole village. <laughs> And breaking yeah. up with Gojo in front of a KFC. Fun fact, in that manga panel, it was modeled after a real street where a KFC exists. And so, as you all know, if you've been a part of the fandom, Gojo broke up with Ghetto in front of a KFC. <laughs> oh my god. Man bought the two for one special and cried about it. So, that's basically the most crispy arc in Jujutsu Kaisen. What we got from this arc... It's a really hot dill <laughs> yeah, that breaks the yeah. stereotypes of MILFs in anime and replaces it with DILFs. And then we got Ghetto staring at the shower floor saying MONKEY. Best arc, 10 out of 10. I love this We'll arc. see you guys next time. See ya.